been thinking hard about this, and I really think we should be a thing. I'm sorry. I don't know if I feel like that. That way. Look, I just don't know. It's shown me that I'm good at helping people. I missed you. I, can do that here. I missed you too. You can't do anything here. You know they don't want any of the rest of us like they want you. Would you be happy never seeing me again? I just can't do this now. Oh, hey. Uh, hey. Trip, look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, <clears throat> where have you been? Joan threw me and David in jail, if you can believe it. Great. So you gave these people more reason to hate us. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. What do we do? We've got to save my brother. He's still in their custody. And I'm scared what they might do to him. Told you we couldn't trust him. You were right. I'm sorry about what's going on with David. But we should have gotten out of here when we had the chance. We still need to get out of here, Javi. Let's go. There's too much unfinished business here. Javi! Sorry. We can't leave yet. Have you guys even looked out the window? Go look for yourself. Oh. Holy shit. Javi, even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Look at that. We should have left when we had a chance. Now we're stuck here. At least we're all still together. Look, this isn't a glass half full situation. It seems like we're in danger within this place and without. I, for one, would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. That the smartest move to make right now? That's crazy. If we're really gonna make it out of here, we have to be ready to shoot our way out, right? Yeah, right. Good. <laughs> you two have fun with that. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. The armory. Good idea. A small group should go. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here as soon as we can. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be careful. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. It happens, especially these days. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Just shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already, right? Javi, come on! Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just, I don't know what to do. Just follow your heart. That's all any of us have left anymore, right? Thanks, man. I'll talk it over with Eleanor and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. Javi, come on. Good luck. Stay frosty, gents. What's that mean? Mike, stay cool, buddy.
Looks like Bob's on duty. I'll distract him away from the door and meet you inside. Be careful in there. There might be more of them. Remember what I said about staying cool? I've done this before, Javi. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? <sighs> yeah, I think I do. How can we trust Ava that she won't turn us in? Can we really trust her? Your father trusts her, and we trust him, right? Yeah. Then we should be okay. I hope. How do you know when you can trust someone? I feel like I've never really known anyone, other than you and Kate, Mariana. Trustworthy people trust other people. The ones who don't trust anybody, those are the ones who screw you over. Psych 101. What's that mean? Guess it doesn't mean anything anymore. I think we're up. She sure is a big help. Ava said it'd be this way. It's down here. The guns are through that door. Locked. No time to look for a key either. to do this the hard way. Put these in your bag. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle-nephew one-two punch. Yeah, we do. Sorry to scare you. When we get back to Eleanor's, we need to talk to those people about doing the right thing by this place. I'll meet you at the entrance.
Get away from me! Javi, you're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my god. I'll be fine. Are you sure? I'm so sorry. Yes, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. You have to get back to the others. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody ah. sees him. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, <sighs> that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Looking for something? Sort of. I know this looks bad, but it's not like... It's not like what? I'm just here to talk to Lingard about where AJ is now. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. All right. Go for it. But if I lose my arm, that's on you. Ha ha. You'll be fine. I've dealt with worse. Huh. <sighs> Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Clem, are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. It's... Totally normal. I mean, it's something female women have. It's, uh, what's next? It's not fun, I know that, but Kate manages. You, you'll be fine, too. Manages? How? I'm bleeding. It's supposed to happen. You'll be fine, Clem, I, I promise. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. <sighs> Wake up! Talk to me! <laughs> wow, that guy is really out of it. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. Cody. Hmm. Not much left. 
It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. No thanks. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. Just pills. Here we go. Hey, this is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. Think I remember how to do this. <sighs> okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Even Ava would have to admit, I was a good mom to AJ. Whoa there, Clem. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I, I am. Tell me he's okay. Please. He's as good as he can be. Which isn't great. Look, it's not much, but... Here. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you... <sighs> this... <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering? We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now, you're... 
hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. I can make it on my own, just like I always have. I don't need anybody else. I don't blame you. Just don't overestimate what you're actually capable of. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone, or something. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head, helping me, guiding me. He's still with you, you know, here. So is AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. <sighs> I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. I know you said you'd get by on your own, but if you find yourself needing supplies, or just someone to talk to. There's an old airfield, about 10 or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. I owe you one. Add it to the pile. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. There any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's... he's not getting out. Guess there's only one sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. That's not fair. David can be a good father. Maybe to his own kids. That doesn't mean I trust him with AJ. You should. David Garcia is a good man. Yeah, I'm sure he'd agree with you. Sorry if I don't. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then. You... You want to know where the boy is?
What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Hang in there. Tomorrow's another day. I, I can't. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. Javi, I have to know. I'm sorry, Clem. We can't do this. No, I have to. If you won't, I will. Clem, stop. He's not in his right mind. You can't do this. <clears throat> Let go of me. I'm taking the deal. We'll find AJ. Just not this way. There is no other way. Where is... You can consider the deal Oh. No! Javi! How could you? So be it. It's your funeral. Especially now. Now that Jones rounding up all alleged traitors. You better hope she doesn't find you. Hang in there, buddy. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. You're back! And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Thanks. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's gotta be a stressful job. Looking after an entire community? He was... Definitely not 100% there, that's for sure. Sounds about right. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just cause they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. Hey, we can do this. Yeah. We've gotten out of tougher jams before, haven't we? I mean, sure, but this is different. We can't just cut and run, not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now, how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. 
Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated from us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. The best way to get rid of Joan is to get David back on top. If he's in charge again, things will go back to the way they used to be. No arguments here. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are gonna be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. Oh, I thought you guys were gonna be careful out there. Hey. Don't worry about it. It is what it is. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. Hey, 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 slow down, would you? You're getting way ahead of yourself. Who's to say you're even coming along, kid? Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there. And I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save Dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. You're out of control, Gabe. First the shit at the armory, now this? How am I supposed to trust you to do anything? How are any of us? Nobody here is gonna let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come he shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel, when he came after us, he tried to bargain with you. Don't do this, kid! Not right now! <laughs> no time like the present. You shot him! You killed him! What the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? You murdered my friend? What the fuck did you do that for? You looked me in the eyes, man! He had a gun on them! If I hadn't killed him, he was gonna shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he went crazy. He would have pulled the trigger, no question. I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. You made sure of that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Avi. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? <laughs> I think you need to give us some space, Javi. Fuck that. I don't want to see you ever again. Or maybe I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We can take care of ourselves. Okay. I'm leaving. I wouldn't want to be around me right now either. We better go get that truck. I'll, uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the walkie when I see things getting started in the square.
and you come with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. I see what's going on. You're punishing me because I told everyone what you did, right? Screw that. I'm going to get the truck. You stay behind and keep watch. Keeping watch is an important job, too. Not as important as getting that truck. Hey, Gabe. Come on. I need you to watch my back on this one. Yeah. Okay. What? Nothing. Gabe and I will be fine back here. going on. Thanks. For what? Helping out with Gabe. He's having a rough time. Yeah, we all are. I'm just doing what I can. Let's keep looking for that truck. You got it. There it is. Let's go. What are the chances? I'd say about 50-50. Smart ass. Before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? We can't start the engine. Not without attracting a lot of attention. Kate, you steer. The rest of us are gonna get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. Ready? Ready. Ready. needed me after all, huh? I'm just saying, I know you didn't want me to come along. You know, I'm just trying to keep you safe, don't you? Uh, yeah, but... But nothing. <clears throat> you want to keep doing stuff like this, you gotta learn how to follow directions. Don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. I put it in neutral. Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. Try not to shock yourself. Shit. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Just try to hurry, okay? Keep an eye out while I get it started, okay? I'll check on the guys in the office. 
Clem and I will look out for walkers. Okay. Here goes. Wire cutter should help with this. Gotta connect the battery to the ignition. Let there be light. Square is a couple of blocks away. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? No, I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. <sighs> That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. Really Where takes you back, doesn't it? Just you and me and Gabe and Mari. Kind of You're right. Not surprising this is nice. Like if I just close my eyes, we're right back where we were. All of us together. Do what I do. Try to think about the nice stuff. Not everything that happened after. <laughs> Gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. He light likes her. You get it? I hope it works out for them. I really do. They're good for each other. I think. Think their first official date will be target practice? Then skinning and eating a wild animal. Ugh, young love. It's so normal, you know? Like, as crazy as things get, as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid, there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet, but to feel something that intensely for another person, kind of like the best drug there is. Hey, the falling in love is the easy part. It's the staying in love part that'll really mess you up. It's unfair, that's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and... When that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. I just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given them that. Him and... Mari, both. They deserved better than this. That's why we're doing this thing, right? So he can have a better life after everything's said and done? You're right. I know you're right. I hope you know, Javi, having you there with me, right by my side, all this time, that's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. You didn't run away. You could have, but you didn't. I think that's just, you know, who I am, you know? Uh, who I am now, at least. 
I get it. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments, you and I. And they're always a little hot and a little confusing and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. But before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know Whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'd really like to know. Let's go for it. We gotta try, right? Oh my god, really? Really. So are we gonna... Okay. Yeah. Shit. We're doing this. You do realize we're gonna have to have a weird conversation with David, right? It's the right way to play this. He already got the sense I was pulling away. That would be the stand-up thing to do in this situation. Can I just say how lame doing the stand-up thing is, though? Oh, it's super lame. Javi, it's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. You've got to get over here, now! Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square... Shit. We got to get over there. Now! going to hang back here, with the truck. Keep the walkie close by. We'll tell you as soon as we've got David. Good luck. Nothing else from Ava? Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into. Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? Ava could be having problems with the walkie-talkie. Maybe it's out of range, or ran out of batteries or something. Maybe. We're not gonna know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? Ready as I'm gonna be. Glad to hear it. the others, can we? For years now, Richmond has been governed by one simple principle. Strong council, strong community. But, unfortunately, the actions of one of the members of that council, our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all She's in... She's lying to all of you! I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. Just look what he's done. He murdered these men in cold blood. I saw him murder Lonnie with my own eyes. Some of the best men I ever knew cut down in their prime. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless. This cruel? Not if I have anything to do with it. I can't believe this is really happening. She's gonna kill him. She can't do this to him. He's kept him safe. I think she's bluffing. It's a scare tactic. There's no way she's really gonna execute David. Are you sure? I hope you're right. Javier! I heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why don't you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. 
I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Happy to. Been waiting for this all day. Then I'll try not to disappoint you. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend, Eleanor, last night. Isn't that right, Eleanor? We did. She said you came here because you wanted to save your brother. Admirable. Almost. Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off. Considering it's all of us against the three of you. If you knew what we were coming here to do, why go ahead with this? Why put a noose around my brother's neck? This community deserves justice, and they're going to get it. One way or the other. Here in Richmond, people who put themselves before the group don't last long. Bring them out. Get away from me. You're making a mistake. Ava! Oh no, they had them this whole time. David wanted to tear this whole place down. He told his people where to find our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? Our own damn weapons? Something like that? I can't just let it go. You've put me in a no-win situation here. So I'm gonna do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. No! Hell no! Don't! Don't! Not after what they tried to do. You may be guilty, of bringing them into this, but they chose to go along with it. If you're gonna punish anyone, it should be me, not them. So ready to sacrifice yourself for others. Don't worry, Javi. I'm not through with you yet. Joan, are you sure about this? We never agreed to killing all these people. It's really up to Javi, isn't it? All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Boys, come on, Javi. Who's it gonna be? Your friend or your brother's lieutenant? Oh, come on! Trip has to live. He's invaluable. Son of a bitch. Javi, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're not making David happy, but I respect you for sticking up for your own people. Shoot him. Wait! I said Trip should live! You did, but there's something else you need to understand. Betrayal. You can't do this! Fucking figures. I can do anything I want. You brought this on yourself. Do it. Wait! No! No! Oh my god. They really shot him. Oh, god damn it. Now, David. It's your turn. I can't believe this. This isn't how we do things. This is madness. Stop her, Clint. Is this the process you trusted? No. Think about this, Javi. You know what's going to happen here. You ready for that? We don't murder in Richmond. We exile. That's how we've always done things. How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go far away from Richmond, and then whatever you do is up to you. I'm sure the herd outside would like that. She thinks she's sending us out there to die. She's counting on it. Everybody put your guns away. We're gonna handle this peacefully. Don't listen to them, Javi. They're fucking butchers, all of them. Shoot that bitch, take her out. She deserves it. If you don't do it, I fucking will. We're leaving, all of us, right now. I didn't say you could go. Doesn't matter if you did. This is how it needs to happen. What are you... 
I don't believe any of you. Take your deal and shove it. They're liars, Clint. All of them. One step closer and I kill him. I swear I will. Go ahead and shoot then. I warned you. They can't be trusted. David, please, put the fucking gun down. Sorry, little brother. She's not gonna win. I can't let her. <laughs> Get back here! Okay, I need you to cover me. We gotta make things right. Okay. Dad needs us. We gotta get out there. He needs you, not me. Go on. Thanks. Oh, God! Javi, you've got to get over there before... 